The Days by Taha Hussein is a poignant memoir that delves into the formative years of the author, chronicling his journey from a small Egyptian village to the corridors of the prestigious al Azhar University in Cairo. This work stands as a testament to the human spirit's resilience in the face of adversity and offers a rich narrative that intertwines personal struggle with cultural and educational critique. Hussein's narrative begins in a rural setting, where he faces the compounded challenges of blindness and poverty. His detailed descriptions of village life provide an immersive glimpse into early 20th century Egypt, highlighting the traditions, superstitions, and daily routines that shaped his early years. The portrayal of his family, especially his relationship with his mother, is tender and evocative, underscoring the emotional underpinnings of his upbringing. This environment, though nurturing in some respects, also imposes severe limitations on his aspirations, setting the stage for his eventual quest for education and intellectual freedom. The transition from the village to Cairo marks a significant shift in the memoir, both in terms of setting and thematic focus. At al Aza, Hussein encounters a rigid and dogmatic educational system that starkly contrasts with his innate curiosity and desire for knowledge. The rote memorization and conservative teachings of al Aza leave him disillusioned, prompting a critical reflection on the state of religious and educational institutions in Egypt. This critique is not merely personal but extends to a broader cultural commentary, questioning the efficacy of an education system that stifles critical thinking and innovation. Hussein's perseverance in overcoming his blindness is a recurring motif in the days. His disability, often seen as a barrier, becomes a source of strength and determination. The memoir details his relentless efforts to engage with texts and participate in academic life, often relying on friends and family to read aloud to him. This struggle is emblematic of a broader theme of resilience, as Hussein continually defies the expectations and limitations imposed by his circumstances. His journey is not just a physical one from village to city but an intellectual and spiritual odyssey toward enlightenment and self-actualization. One of the most compelling aspects of the days is its exploration of identity and belonging. Hussein grapples with his sense of self within the various communities he inhabits, from his village to al Aza and beyond. His blindness and intellectual ambitions often set him apart, creating a sense of otherness that he must navigate throughout his life. This exploration is deeply intertwined with his reflections on language and literature, as he delves into classical Arabic texts and Western literature, seeking to reconcile these diverse influences within his own intellectual framework. The Days also serves as a historical document, capturing a period of significant social and political change in Egypt. Hussein's personal narrative is set against the backdrop of the early 20th century, a time of burgeoning nationalism and cultural renaissance. His experiences reflect the tensions between tradition and modernity, as Egypt grapples with its identity in the face of colonial influence and internal reform. This historical context enriches the memoir, providing readers with a nuanced understanding of the forces shaping Hussein's world. Throughout the days, Hussein's prose is marked by its lyrical quality and emotional depth. His writing is imbued with a sense of nostalgia and longing, as he reflects on the people and places that have shaped his life. The memoir is not merely a recounting of events but a meditation on memory and the passage of time. Hussein's ability to evoke the sensory and emotional experiences of his past lends the narrative a vivid and immersive quality, drawing readers into his world with remarkable intimacy. In conclusion, The Days by Taha Hussein is a profound and moving memoir that transcends its autobiographical origins to offer a rich tapestry of personal and cultural history. It is a testament to the enduring power of education, resilience, and the human spirit's capacity to overcome adversity. Through his eloquent prose and insightful reflections, Hussein invites readers to share in his journey, 
providing a timeless narrative that resonates across generations and cultures.